t test for difference of means. Whenever if you have two samples and two means and SD to test the two samples are have same means or not, they are taken from the population which has same mean or not, we have to use t test for difference of means. You know, for every test in testing procedure, the first step is writing H0, second step is writing H1, third step is writing alpha, fourth is writing test statistic formula for calculating t calculated value. So here also, like uh, large sample difference of means, H0 is two means are equal, standard, but sample sizes are less than 30. Small sample t test for difference of means. H1 may be mu1 not equal to mu2, two time, or mu1 greater than mu2, or mu1 less than mu2. These are one time. Alpha is 5% or 1% or 10% or 2%. Any one of that. Coming to test statistic, the formula to calculate difference of means t calculated equal to x bar minus y bar by depending on how many SDs are given, we will take. If we have one SD, we go for 1 by S into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2, where S square is 1 by N1 plus N2 minus 2 into sigma x minus x bar whole square plus sigma y minus y bar whole square. This we need to calculate. X bar is sample mean, y bar is sample, uh, second sample mean. There will be given two means. Two samples are given. For that two samples, you need to calculate x bar and y bar. Next, you have to calculate s square. From this, if you take square root, you will get s. Find out t calculated. Next, coming to the fifth stage, conclusion stage. Here, you need to find t table value. t table value for v equal to n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom n1 plus n2 minus 2. This is degrees of freedom you need to take. For example, n1 is 10, n2 is uh, 7, 10 plus 7 minus 2. 50 degrees of freedom you need to see at uh, alpha level it is uh, one time. Alpha by 2 level if it is 2 time test. Now compare if t calculated is less than or equal to modulus t table value then accept h0 otherwise reject h0 do you clear this is testing procedure for testing difference of means in small samples two independent samples independent samples of sizes 8 and 7 of items respectively had the following values is the difference between means of samples is significant. So sizes of samples are less than 30. So we need to do small sample test and the question is very clear. Test for difference between means. For testing difference between means, we use t-test in small sample. For that, we need to write first H0, H1 and alpha. Next we will calculate test statistic formula to calculate a calculated value. H0 is standard for all tests. Writing H0, starting one. In difference of means H0 is, both means are equal, we assume. In H1, we take by default mu1 not equal to mu2. Whenever no information regarding H1, we will go for this. Alpha is default 5%. Next, coming to test statistic, first uh, test statistic will be this one, x bar minus y bar by s root 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2, x bar needed, y bar needed, s means 1 by n1 plus n2 minus 2, sigma x minus x bar whole square plus sigma y minus y bar whole square, these are all we need to calculate, 
For calculating this, we are preparing the table like x x minus x bar x minus x bar whole square y y minus y bar y minus y bar whole square these values we need to calculate sample 1 we are treating as x sample 2 we are treating as y this sample 1 we are treating as x this is y so now the values are 11 11 13 11 15 9 12 14 next uh, y values 9 11 10 13 9 8 10 so now first we need to find the totals of x and y x total and y total we need to calculate x total is 96 here 70 use your calculator from this you can calculate x bar x bar is 96 by 8 12 8 jar 96 8 y bar is 70 by how many values you are having 7 70 by 7 10 so these two you need to calculate here 96 by 8 right 12 8 12 jar x bar 12 sorry x bar 12 y bar 10 so this you will get 96 by 96 by 8 70 by 7 because uh, number of items are 7 sum of items by number of items now subtract this 12 from every value 11 minus 12 minus 1 11 minus 12 minus 1 13 minus 12 1 11 minus 12 minus 1 15 minus 12 3 9 minus 12 minus 3 12 minus 12 0 14 minus 12 2 now square 1 1 1 1 9 9 0 4 now add these all you will get sigma x minus x bar whole square if you add you will get 26 similarly here also subtract 10 9 minus 10 minus 1 11 minus 10 1 10 minus 10 0 13 minus 10 3 again 9 minus 10 minus 1 8 minus 10 minus 2 10 minus 10 0 now square 1 1 0 square 0 3 square 9 1 4 0 now find out the total this is called sigma y minus y bar whole square sigma y minus y bar whole square is 16 now we need to evaluate s value s square equal to 1 by n1 plus n2 minus 2 into sigma x minus x bar whole square plus sigma y minus y bar whole square n1 is given in given data n1 is 8 n2 is 7 so 8 plus 7 minus 2 x minus x bar whole square 26 plus 16 so if you calculate this value you will get use your calculator 3.23 square root of this will be 1.8 s is root 3.23 root 3.23 is uh, 1.8 now t calculated x bar minus y bar by s root 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 what is uh, x bar value x bar value we calculated 12 minus 10 by 1.8 into 1 by n1 8 1 by n2 7 so you will get t calculated value now t calculated is 2.15 use your calculator now final step conclusion to conclude whether we have to accept H0 or reject H0, find out T table value. T table value for V equal to 
n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom at 2 time test direct value 5% level. You will get t table value. T table value from the table, t distribution table you will have in that you need to find t table value. T table value is 2.16. Now compare t calculated and t table. t calculated less than t table. So accept it's not. That means mu1 equal to mu2 is a conclusion. Two means are equal. Measuring specimens of nylon air taken from two missions. It was found that first sample, eight specimens from first mission had a mean denier mean x bar is given. Of SD, S1 is given. Of SD of 1.81. Next, 10 specimens from second mean. Second missions had a mean of 7.43 with SD 1.48. Assuming that proportions are normal, normal, test the hypothesis. Test the hypothesis H0, H1 at level of significance is given. So H0, H1 is given in the question itself. That we need to take directly. So for testing the Difference of means here mu1 minus mu2 means difference of means we use t test h0 is given this is testing procedure these four steps we need to start fifth one is a conclusion so first h0 is given as it is I am taking from the question mu1 minus mu2 equal to 1.5 mu1 minus mu2 greater than 1.5 one tile test Alpha is 5%, 0.05. Test statistic. Before going to write test statistic, first write given data. Given N1 is 8, N2 is 10, X bar is given 9.67, Y bar also given Y bar 7.43. And SD is given, S1 and S2 are given. S1 is 1.81, S2 is 1.48. Next, we need to calculate T calculated formula. In T calculated, we have to calculate S. S will be calculated whenever we have S1, S2, N1, N2. S square is N1 S1 plus N2 S2 by N1 plus N2. So using this formula, we are going to find N1 S1 square, sorry, N2 S2 square by N1 plus N2. 8 into 1.81 whole square plus 10 into N1 S1 square N2 S2 square. 1.48 whole square by 8 plus 10. If you do, you will get S square value. From that, find S value. Next, substitute that one in uh, T calculated. You will get 3.007 S square. And S is root of this one, 1.784. Root of 3.007. Use your uh, calci to get that one. Use your calculator. 1.734 is S. Now write T calculated formula. T calculated X bar minus Y bar by S root 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. What is X bar? 9.67 minus 7.43 by S is 1.734 root 1 by 8 plus 1 by 10. Now you will get T calculated value. 0 0.8997 now for conclusion we need to evaluate t table value t table value for t table value at b n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom 
n1 n2 are 8 plus 10 minus 2 18 minus 2 16 degrees of freedom 16 degrees of freedom at alpha level because uh, this is one type so in 16 line in the table we will be there in 16 line under 0 0.005 in 0 0.05 if you see you will have t table value from the table we will get t distribution table 1.746 now compare t calculated and t table t calculated is less than t table so you have to accept it's not that is 2 means difference is 1.5 that we have to accept okay